Recently, a friend of mine donated to me several of these uh, power outage emergency lights. These, uh, these lights are used a lot of buildings, parking decks, wired, in, wired into the structure's electrical system. When the power goes out, pushes it over to this six volt, four and a half hour power battery and rated to run about four hours. That uh, long enough to get, get people out of, out of the building. They run off of, uh, off of these bulbs here. Uh, two of these bulbs, there's one in each side, uh, consume about 11 watts. But I found the uh, data sheet for this one on the internet and uh, it's really, really quite interesting. It's got a two-stage charger. It will charge the battery. Once the battery is fully charged, it goes into maintenance mode and keeps it fully charged. It also has battery protection in it. And uh, so when it's uh, drawing straight off the battery, it will not let it discharge to a point where it could do permanent damage to this battery. So having these in my possession, I decided to try to make something myself, something that, that, uh, that I could use. Okay, so here's the unit I ended up modifying for myself. Notice the first thing I did, I replaced that bulb. And I put in a 12 LED Piranha light panel in its place. Now that, that light panel is designed to run at 3.5 to 5.5 volts and is rated at 1 watt. So one on each side of that, I have uh, approximately 2 watts of lights running. That's versus this bulb, which uh, two of these bulbs, I was I was consuming almost 11 watts. So that that's an energy saver there. I put a uh, voltmeter on the unit so I could keep a better eye on the battery, and it holds right around that 6.8. Volts. I'm not sure you can see that real clear, but it is reading about 6.8, and uh, it stays stays at that voltage very well. Uh, on each of these, let me snap that that light back up. Okay, on each of these lights, I put independent switches so I can control each light independently. And these are DP3T switches. Center position is off. So right now, they're in the off position. So if I lose power right now, it will not turn on. And I just unplugged it. It's not on. Okay. But if I run these toggles back, now it's running in the emergency mode. Now normally, I'm going to plug it back in. Uh, normally, they would automatically come on. Uh, so if you unplugged it, like I did right now, have an interruption in power, it automatically comes on. Uh, I'm going to plug it back in. I like to leave it in the center off position. Because what happens if the power goes out in the middle of the daytime? I don't want to use up my battery on the lights. So I can, I can decide when those lights come on. Now that it's, it's plugged into the wall, I can go ahead and use the lights by moving the switch forward. And I can control those independently. Uh, run one, the other, or both. Next thing I did to this unit was put in a USB port. I wanted to set this up as a little charging station. Uh, I'm always looking to charge batteries. So here's a little USB battery charging device that I can plug into the port. And notice the red lights, it is charging. Uh, this unit will charge almost any electronic device, smartphones, tablets, e-readers, I've charged all of them. Uh, it does a great job on them. Uh, here's uh, just a little 
old MP3 player. I'm going to plug it in. You'll see it'll turn on. And it is charging up in the upper right hand corner. It may be hard to see. But there's a little battery indicator indicating that it is charging. Now, remember uh, that I said this was running at 6.8 volts. These light panels are designed to run from 3.5 to 5.5 volts. The acceptable range on a USB port is 4.5 to I believe it's 5.3 volts. I may not be exactly right on that, but I believe that's right. So in order to drop that battery voltage, I put two diodes in series. Got about a 1.4, 1.5 volt drop that puts all three of these, the, the lights and the USB port, in the acceptable operating range. Uh, I used one in 4004s, I believe, and they worked out quite well. Almost anything that, that runs on batteries can be converted to run off a of USB. I have just a cheap little battery fan. This this fan takes three AAA batteries. And uh, I took the batteries out of it, connected up a USB port to it. I've got it plugged into the light. And there we go. Turn the switch on. You got your <laughs> Get some air movement. And so that was a lot of fun. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and put this in emergency mode. Unplug it. And I'm going to turn the lights off in the, in the room here. All right. There we are. We're kicking out some light. And uh, sorry my camera doesn't do this justice. It, it's trying to adjust for the amount of light in here. But it, uh, it certainly does put out, put out some light. So recycle, reuse. If you've got any uh, ideas, on how I could make this unit better, please please uh, leave your suggestions in the comments section. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you.